Hey everybody, what's up? Wanted to do a quick video a response to Azrael's judgment. What's up, brother? Um, ten questions, so I'm going to get to it. Um, i be out of town for a couple of days, so I wanted to make a quick video uh, before I left. Do you believe peak oil has been reached, has been surpassed, will be reached soon, is far away, or is a silly theory? Um, I think that the latter two apply more to what I believe or think. Um, if anything, it's, it's very far away. Uh, I think it's a silly theory. I think it's, um, if you look at the, the, the amount of money that are that's flowing through the hands of the oil companies, and in conjunction with the people that are running this country, you've got a president who's an oil, uh, an oil magnate type. I mean, he's got um, a history, a huge history um, in the oil business and with, especially in the Middle East, the Saudis, um, and uh, it, I think it's it's just ridiculous for us to believe that, um, or for anyone to really buy that we've been that we we're tapping, we're, we're close to tapping our our, our resources. I, I just you know, I think it's ridiculous. Um, now again, I'm not a peak oil expert, and I haven't read everything I could read on peak oil, but from what I understand and what I've seen. Um, Number two, do you believe humans are the major cause of global temperature change, global poisoning, both or neither? Um, I don't. I think it's anthropocentric for us to believe that we are the main cause for global warming. Now, before you freak out or anybody freaks out about it, I'm not saying we are not part of the problem. Um, you know, again, it, it goes back to we've only been involved in. in heavy industry for 200 years on a four and a half billion year old planet um, that is if you're unless you're a fundamentalist, fundamentalist or a creationist um, it, it's it, I just I just think it's anthropocentric for us to think that we are causing this kind of rapid destruction of our planet now we are poisoning the planet I mean with the, the kinds of um, pollutants that we put in the air there's three times uh, the amount that is in the water. I think it was, I can't remember how much it is, it's like 300 million pounds in the water or something like that, all of the, the, the world's water. Um, but I don't believe we are the major cause. Um, number three, do you trust genetically modified foods? No. <laughs> I absolutely do not trust genetically modified foods. I mean, let alone with all of the hormones, antibiotics, growth hormones, um, you know, uh, the things that they put in the food now, um, regardless of what people, uh, whether they want to accept it or not, are affecting um, us as far as our, um, uh, you know, genetically. Um, in the last, uh, and you could call it evolution. Some people will, will say it's evolution, but in the last, you know, 30, 40 years, I mean, you look at the the um, maturation um, of of younger kids and things. Now, I think a lot of that has to do with a lot of the growth her growth hormones and things that get put into the meats and the vegetables. So, um, number four, do you believe elections are rigged, are fine, or think elections are nonsense either way? Um, I think it's absolutely naive for anybody to think that there's not a possibility for an election to be rigged. Um, I think that the that the voting machines that we use now are easily corruptible. Um, the, it's it's definitely uh, it's been shown that they're easily corruptible. So uh, you know it's it's possible it's possible to I mean there's so many things um, that that are you know corruptible and I mean. You look at organized sports. You can look at um, uh, big business. You know, um, you you can you know with embezzlement and I mean, look at Enron and and what they got away with for so long. I mean, everything is corruptible. So there's no reason to believe that a, an election is not could not be rigged. Um, do you believe the government owns you and your children? I personally don't feel. I would say the government doesn't own me. No one owns me, no one owns my children. You can't own anyone else. That's my point of view. Now, from a practical standpoint, yes, the government 
technically they believe and think that they own us. Um, there's a uh, there's a user out there, um, and uh, his name is uh, is uh, K O T H J J H I believe Coach yeah K O T H J J H Coach something like that. Um, he's got some videos on stuff like this, and um, he's got a lot of theories. But uh, you know, if you look at the paper that. Um, the, our, our, you know, our, our social security, our, our birth certificates are painted, are, are printed on. It's, it's like um, Department of Treasury paper. You know, our, our, we, we are collateral to the government, as well as we pay taxes and, and there's so many other things. It's like, it's like indentured servitude. Uh, you know, only when provoked said it best. Um, it's like indentured servitude. Um, do you believe you can be charged with a crime without physically harming theft included a person or property hence no victim uh, yes absolutely I'll give you one prime example all I have to do is say I would like to kill the president of the United States and if I really meant that or people felt I meant that I could be arrested for it you could be arrested for your speech or for something that you have not um, something you have not directly done uh, more indirectly it happens all the time. Do you think the USA Empire is headed for collapse? Yes, I do, and uh, I think it's it's happening um, fairly fast. You know, it, it, you look at the dollar, you look at the the, the this the results of this housing uh, market and credit crunch and 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 the um, you know the, the the destruction of of people's lives from losing their homes and and all the tent cities that are popping up and. And just the Federal Reserve alone is, has been, this whole system that we live in is set up to, to fail eventually. Um, do you think people can live free without a central government? Now, this is kind of difficult, and I, and I know it's a, a question near and dear to your heart as an anarchist, but um, I, 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 wanna, I would like to be able to, to read and study more, research more on anarchy before I you know, give a real strong answer but I think there needs to be some sort of you know uh, public consensus group or, or some sort of you know uh, not necessarily a governing body that tells you what to do but I think there needs to there needs to be some sort of community um, consensus on something it's hard to do on such a large scale but um, maybe I'll come back to that uh, a different at a different time. Do you believe using the violence and the force of the government is a valid answer to solve problems? No, um, I, I I don't think so. But at the same time, it's it's a situation where everyone is everyone. No one wants to be beaten, pushed around. You know, it's 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 a situation where we need to. You know, we need to defend ourselves. If we, if it comes down to it, and and force is used against us, we need to be able to defend ourselves just to live. Um, I'm not going to lay down my life just because I'm, I'm for the most part a pacifist. I really am, um, but I'm not going to lay my life down just because I don't feel like I should strike somebody back when they're striking me. Um, it's, it's just silly. Would you force your views onto other people because you thought your way is the only way to live, or do you believe there is no right way to live as long as you are not harming, coercing others? Uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm pretty much a live and let live guy. I'm not going to force myself on other people. Um, I am going to speak very, uh, with a lot of conviction and very vehemently about how I feel. Um, I try to be sensitive to others, but at the same time, if I feel something needs to be pointed out, then I do. Um, I think you know, written and spoken word are our are, are main um, sources of communication. Uh, in uh, you know, and and I don't. I think we need constructive dialogue to be able to come to a better understanding of, of how to get along in this world and and become better as people. So that's it. If you want to ask any more questions or want any more information about any of these uh, answers that I have, please feel free to ask me. Peace.